Become a premium member on realcatholictv.com today. Not only will you learn about the one true faith, just think of all the new friends you'll make. Retailer off target. China intimidates fleeing pro-lifers' family. And Obama's attorney general is sending men to the ladies' room. All that and more coming up on today's Catholic News Roundup. Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by PewSitter.com, your online Catholic newspaper for the third millennium. CatholicMediaCoalition.org, in line with the church, online with the world. Hello, welcome to today's edition of Catholic News Roundup. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. Traditional marriage targeted. Target has changed its pro-marriage stance by giving financial support to a homosexual group, the Family Equality Council. In a statement, Target indicated that it will make a donation worth up to $120,000 to the pro-gay advocacy group, specifically during the month of June. You may remember back in 2010, the Minneapolis-based retailer faced backlash from homosexual forces after it gave $150,000 to Minnesota Forward, a political group that supported Tom Emmer, the pro-life, pro-marriage Republican candidate for governor of Minnesota. During the controversy, the corporation resisted calls to make an equal contribution to a homosexual advocacy organization, although Target has a long and positive relationship with Minneapolis Pride Parade and other like-minded groups. Restroom relativism. Obama's Attorney General, Eric Holder, and the U.S. Department of Justice are flushing gender norms away by opening up a university's female restroom to men. After self-identifying as a woman, 38-year-old Jennifer Braley can now use the female restrooms on University of Arkansas at Fort Smith's campus after he filed a complaint with the Civil Rights Division in the Department of Justice. DOJ officials sent a letter to the school causing, quote, a revisiting of our thinking, according to the vice president of university relations. A senior at the college, Amanda Shook, says the decision is a cause of concern for at least some female students, commenting, quote, I disagree with allowing a male to use the female restrooms. Even if they are a transgendered person, they are still a man and should have to use the men's restroom. Chinese intimidation tactics. The family of pro-life activist Chen Guangcheng has found themselves the object of retaliation by the Chinese communist regime. Chen's brother has fled his closely guarded village to seek legal counsel following his son's arrest, who is under accusations of attempted murder after a confrontation with local communist officials who burst into his home searching for Chen Guangcheng at the time. Law officials are also demanding that Chen Guangcheng's nephew be represented by government-appointed attorneys at his trial, rather than the lawyers chosen by the Chen family. Security at the Chen family's village has also reportedly tightened significantly to keep people from escaping after Chen Guangcheng fled to the U.S. Embassy several weeks ago. Stay with us. We'll be back in just a few seconds. Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by... NewOxfordReview.org, the voice of Catholic Orthodoxy, in print and on the web. And RenewAmerica.com, expanding the influence of America's grassroots in the cause of freedom. Two telling polls. Pro-abortion numbers are bottoming out. This according to a new Gallup poll. Only 41% of Americans label themselves as pro-choice, a new record low. On the flip side, 50% of those polled identified themselves as pro-life, a near record high. With this, while, these poll bod- bo- while this poll bodes well for the pro-life movement, another recent survey by Gallup is a reality check for American Catholics. The poll found that 82% of Catholics in the United States believe contraception is morally acceptable. Holistically, the Roman Catholic Church teaches that both abortion and contraception are intrinsic evils, along with other sexual sins, such as cohabitation, living the homosexual lifestyle, and the practice of self-abuse. Priests in progress. 
beefed up education requirements have left the Archdiocese of New York with only two new priests ordained this year, but more are on the way. New York's vocations director, Father Luke Sweeney, says the program is in the middle of a switch from a five-year program to a six-year program, transitioning to include one extra year of philosophy. According to him, the change is causing a shortage of ordinations this year in exchange for a bigger crop next year. It is worthy to note that one of the newly ordained Big Apple priests, Father Patrick Darcy, said his first Mass at the magnificent Blessed Sacrament Church on Manhattan's west side, celebrating a solemn high Tridentine Mass, attended by many priests and seminarians of the Archdiocese. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. Thanks for tuning in today. Be sure and tune in on Monday for your daily dose of Catholic News Roundup right here on RealCatholicTV.com. Also be sure to check out The Vortex, where Michael consults Fulton Sheen on the definition of truth. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to tell all your friends about us. And as always, God bless you.